Hello my sock viewers. I really hoped you liked my Marco van Basten uh, video from yesterday, my first inductee to my personal Hall of Fame. Uh, I forgot to mention it, he won three times the Ballon d'Or uh, and was only the third player to do so. Uh, and at that time three was kind of the maximum, so this is also something. And yeah, I'm wearing the Netherlands, not necessarily because of Marco van Basten, just because, you know trying to pull out stuff and it actually kind of fitting because today I want to show you some of my national team scarves not all of them uh, because there are kind of two that fit also well in another category and I don't want to overload you with uh, scarves how many do I have here one two three four four five six seven so that's plenty to show you um, we might as well get right to it. Uh, I know the first national team scarf that I got, and this is probably a natural. This was, of course, Austria, Österreich. Um, you see the eagle here? That eagle was also on that side. But over the years, this is, you know, one of the Italian type scarf, but it was, I used it a lot. I hung it a lot and suddenly the threads went off and you can see it even here. There is the Austrian flag, not quite complete. I have used this scarf for every uh, national team game that I've been going to. And then I decided at one point, okay, we might as well just cut it here and make a proper scarf out of it. So this had two uh, flags. I still like to, it's not, I mean, if it's warm, still a nice scarf, but uh, to an Austria game, Last time I was, I was mostly with my jersey. Uh, most famously, I most famously stupid thing, but yeah, uh, I wore this one when Austria beat Sweden in '97 at home, and I was sitting right above where Andy Herzog scored that beautiful, beautiful goal. So yes, has a special place in my heart. Uh, I actually like this little eagle here. That's the coat of arms of Austria, you should know by now. Uh, what I find weird is that everything is kind of in black and red. As every Everything that's black has a little bit of red in there too, so that's kind of funny. But yeah, usable scarf. I think I got it from one of those when I told you about the Lusk uh, scarves, uh, one of those uh, places. Uh, the next scarf I actually is also an Austrian scarf, and I'm not... I'm not sure if this is my second ever national team scarf. I have a feeling it's not. I, am, I was almost thinking it might be my fourth one. But let's get the Austria scarves out of the way. Uh, this one I know for sure that I got from the Austrian Soccer Federation itself. And this was released I think in 97, 96, 97. The first time that the Austrian Football Federation tried to be a little bit more commercial and they actually developed a mascot ready for the mascot it's on this scarf and that's why <laughs> i ended up getting it it's also an asymmetric scarf that's the mascot note uh white and black this is how austria used to play for the longest of times until hans kranke in 2002 changed that or 2004 i want to say in 2002 he changed that that Austria is always playing now in red and we're playing red white red ever since that mascot i don't know um we have in austria saying platte gaia uh, meaning if you broke the vultures are coming that's what this reminds me of his name was ernstl presumably after ernst hopper but who, who should be probably my first inductee in my coaches hall hall, hall, hall of fame but there have been many other big Ernst in um, Austrian history, Ernst Otzwerk of the 50s for sure, and also, um, uh, what's another one, Otzwerk for sure, I mean, there have been quite a few. So yeah, let's look at the entire scarf. Uh, Ernstl is on both sides, let's look at the side that I like actually a little bit better because they are different, so we have him once here, and then we have just Austria written, but at least here's a little bit of Austrian flags going here, Österreich, Österreich, Österreich. The funny thing is Österreich is red, white, red, and we have red, white, red, white, red, white, so it's a little bit funny. Uh, the other side I like less. 
it has proper Austrian flags on there, but um, having written Österreich in cursive on what should be a star or explosion or whatever, just looks weird. But here we have, you know, proper Austrian flag here, we have a flag, we have two flags here, we have two flags here. I have to say this side here is a whole lot of mess, in my opinion. So those are my two Austria scarves. Um, I think at the last game that I was, I actually wore this one. I want to say because it was cold and this is the thick. It's, it's, it's a thicker scarf. You can see it's two-sided. Uh, thicker the other Austria scarf is a very very thin material. Let's go to other teams and again, not one hundred percent sure, but I'm fairly confident that this scarf here fitting to this jersey, the Netherlands scarf, is the second national team scarf I ever got. Uh, this is basically your other uh, default value. You see uh, how the Hub Holland is written. This, this is exactly a default scarf. And then instead of having the flag here, they have this crossed flags here, the Dutch flags, which actually looks nice. And then you have, well, this should be the Dutch line. It actually looks pretty poor. I have to say, but yeah, uh, overall, I mean, this at this time the Dutch were not wearing much black on their jerseys, so but um, it I didn't mind for this scarf because I wanted to have a Holland scarf. Uh, of course, it fits very well with this jersey. I would love to have it a little bit, a little bit more white, you know. But yeah, it's I think it's a decent scarf. I know it was hanging a lot around my room. Again, a little bit less black, more white. Uh, that's with, but uh, it makes at least the Dutch flags really pop nicely on that one. Now, the other national team, yes, uh, that I absolutely love and that I have, of course, a scarf of is Italy. And I have two Italy scarves, one you will see in a different video, but the first one I have is similar to the PSG scarf that I showed you. This Nike kind of fleece like material it is actually thicker than it than anything and from this logo you can tell this one came and especially from the golden stripe this came around 90 came around 96 you know when italy played um with those blue churches with white and golden trim uh where they did not perform all that well euro 9 96 and i still maintain they were the best side there in england they were just Saki uh, completely outdid himself in overcoaching. Uh, you see the Nike part here, you see the crest uh, really nicely. It's not my favorite one actually. Uh, I like the previous one on 1990 that they had a little bit better, but it works. You get every everything in. Um, and then golden sushis and Italia, 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 Italia. So yeah. It is an overall nice scarf, uh, but it's definitely an old man out. And unlike the PSG one, this one is the same front and back. So um, there's not too much fanciness to it. This is not a uh, home and away scarf. Then we have three more to go. So this covers my top favorite nations. Uh, another country that I liked a lot, but that was until recently not very well known for its um, socket uh, prowess is of course Australia this one I bought in a soccer store in Perth where I also got the Milan 96-97 away jersey that, that I have so I bought those two things there and yeah I needed to get this uh, scarf it's actually quite nice color wise, typically Australian colors, uh, green and yellow. And then you have the Australian coat of arms here, kind of in there. I mean, it's really hard to tell. And I know with the knitting pattern, it's really hard, hard to get. I especially find the seven pointed star rather poor. I mean, they took a star of David and then gave it a little swallow's tail. Also, I mean, the less I talk about it. You can see the kangaroo and an emo on there. Uh, it's an acrylic scarf, as it says here. 100% acrylic. It has. It's actually made in Britain, I think. 
yeah, maybe, maybe in the UK, but I bought it in Perth, Australia. Um, my favorite part of this is, of course, all the kangaroos that are on top of this. So yeah, that's about as nice as an Australia scarf that I could get back then. And it was a no-brainer that I will get this scarf. That was in 98. Uh, then it took me a while to get national team scarves. I visited my brother in 2002 in Spain. Twice he was spending an exchange here in Barcelona. Um, and I visited him in February 2002 for about a week where not only uh, we tried, we saw, I saw Barcelona against Depor, there was also Barcelona against Roma and Spain played a home game against Portugal at the Olympic Stadium, um, which was kind of really weird to go up there. Well, it was a live, live, live game, and remember, ahead of the 2002 World Cup, Spain really thought they have actually a shot at glory. It took them only eight more years, and at that, at that time they were perennial underachievers. I have to say this scarf, or this scarf is a little bit beaten up, because of course I've been wearing it at the 2006 World Cup as well, where we got tickets for all the group games for Spain. But it's an Italian type scarf, so coat of arms look pretty darn nice. This is about as realistic as you will ever see it. It's a beauty, absolute beauty. It says España, and then España, 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 Alpa España, and it goes all the way. This is a really, really nice scarf. It is unfortunately a little bit beaten up here. And this is what happens with those Italian type of scarves, especially if you hang them here. I had the, uh, you know, the needle and then it kept falling down. Super nice. I really have to say this is just super, super, super nice scarf. The one thing that I, I regret a little bit, I could have gotten the same Scarf for Portugal. I just didn't care too much about Portugal. I, I was, yeah, oh, España, España. Should have gotten for por 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 Portugal. I want to see the um, lineups again because I'm pretty sure that Luis Figo was playing it. That was the reason why they played at the um, Olympic Stadium because Luis Figo at, at the now, come now? Nah, never, never, never gonna happen uh, in 2002. So, yeah, but this is a truly special scarf. To me and I got it right there in front of the game they were selling them off in droves there and then we get to the last one this was 2002 the last one that I have here I got in 2015 on a rainy night in Sofia Euro qualifying Italy playing in Bulgaria and I went with a Bulgarian friend there and I said well yeah, you know, Italy is my favorite team, but I'm married to a Bulgarian, so Bulgaria becomes family and that usually takes over. Although I have to say when Italy plays Austria, it's, yeah, maybe, maybe in the end Austria wins, but I'm uh, much more, um, how to say, neutral on that one. But yeah. I got an Italian type scarf right there, Bulgaria, uh, with the, I, I hate this crest. This ball has nothing to do with it. If there was the cold coat of arms there, if they have now on, on, on the New Jersey's, I would be more happy. But at least, yeah, got a Bulgaria scarf, it says it nicely. It's actually quite well, well made. I wish this was in Cyrillic, but here it says Bulgaria. Very, very pretty Lithuan. Um, they're messing up a little. Well, it's the country's colors that are here, white, green, red. So yeah, it's a little bit there. So beautiful. Other beautiful scarf. I actually like this one quite some, and this is the I want to almost say the last scarf that I bought. Could be the last scarf that I bought a little bit less recently. Well, those are my proper national team scarves. Uh, let me know which ones you liked from these. Uh, also, let, let me know which one scarves you have. Drop a comment, comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.